I, I think PTSD is PTSD, whether it's caused by a rape or the death of your friend in front of you or the car crash uh, in which you were narrowly missed but you saw your husband struck by a truck and killed. I mean, th these are my PTSD patients. I'm dealing with all of them now. To me, the PTSD is PTSD. The quality of the PTSD may be different. I mean, think of being, of having a traumatic amputation. Your leg is suddenly not there. It's different for every person who goes through it. And from a surgeon's point of view, it's, it's a traumatic amputation, you have to deal with it. Even from a surgeon's point of view, these are different, depending on where they happen and what kind of shape somebody is in. But to me, PTSD is an injury. It wasn't there before you were traumatized. After you were traumatized, you have a syndrome. Uh, you have a trauma memory that comes back and haunts you. You have a reduced ability to have all the human feelings and all the human desires that you used to have, and you're very nervous. It's, uh, I, I think we're past thinking of it as some extreme of anxiety. It's, it's a medical situation as a result of an injurious exposure to something that was too much, like it, too much sound and it ruptured your eardrum, too much shock and it ruptured your spleen, too much of this kind of imagery, and it changes something in the physiology of your, of your brain. And it gets better. It gets better through time. Well, feeling uh, the opposite of <clears throat> hopeful about the future is part of the diagnosis of PTSD. We, we know that when your brain has been overwhelmed. It's not just that something bad happened. It's that the PTSD injury happened as well. That brings with it a sense of a foreshortened future or a future that won't be as good as it could have been or should have been or that other people will have. Yes, that's part of what happens to the traumatized mind. And I think it's part of us, whether we're therapists or whether we're other fellow travelers on this road, uh, to remind everybody out there that's part of the, of the illness or it's part of the injury. That part gets better and everything else gets better. Now, now to feel worthless on top of it, to feel I am just not a good person, that's not really in the PTSD um, description, but it's in the depression description. If, if given everything that you're going through and that you've gone through, you feel like a worthless human being, the odds are you're depressed. And, and that is another condition of the mind, depression. And there's help for depression. There, there is cognitive behavioral therapy. Uh, in the worst case, there's inpatient therapy. You may need to be in a place that is protected where you don't have to decide what to buy for dinner or care for somebody else. It's your turn to be cared for if the depression is that bad. And there are people who are depressed and suicidal and can't fend for themselves. That's an extreme. So, so there are remedies for that. There's protection. There's, there's coaching 